When you're riding, any loss in brake performance is usually down to worn brake pads. Other symptoms include the levers moving back too far or a loud squealing noise coming from the rotor area. So, to do this job, you're going to need your new brake pads. You're going to need some Allen keys. A needle nose pliers is always helpful. And a tool for pushing the pads back into the calipers. Firstly, remove the wheel from the bike. This is going to make it much easier to inspect the pads. Check the brake pads. If there's visible wear to the pad surface, then you're going to need to replace them. If not, you may need to pop it in so we can investigate as there may be more to the problem. With the pad pusher tool, push the pads back into the caliper. You need to do this now, otherwise you could damage the surface of the new ones when you replace them. Next, remove the pad retention system. This can be in the form of a cotter pin, a bolt, and some pads have a clip on the back that holds them in place. Remove the pin or screw, and remove the pads and spring if there is one with the needle nose pliers. Take your new pads and replace them with a spring in place, if there is one. Insert the new pads into the caliper. If there's a spring, make sure it's in the correct position. And return the bolt or pin, depending on your caliper. You can now return the wheel to the bike, fastening the skewer firmly. You need to visually check the caliper is aligned and the rotor is dead centre. If not, you need to undo the caliper bolts with an Allen key. When you're happy the rotor is dead centre, tighten them up to the correct torque. If you're not sure, get a torque wrench. Now, squeeze your brake lever. You should feel the pads start to adjust and grip the rotor. Spin the wheel and check it stops. You might need to do this a few times just to check that the brakes aren't rubbing and the calipers don't need a service. If you still have any problems, your rotor may be bent or you may need a caliper service. Please remember that brakes are a very important part of the bike and if they're not working properly, they can be dangerous. So, if in any doubt, contact us here at treads.co.uk and we'll do our best to help you out.